Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another season of Hearthstone. I have done pretty well in the first season. I got to the rank of 9, which is the Silverhand Knight rank. This is on my Warrior deck, um, and as a reward for my troubles, I have received myself a new card backing. Not to mention, I have also received a lot of bonus stars. I've got 16 bonus stars, in fact, to begin Season 2 here, which will place me on rank 19 to start off with. So, we're done. That's it. It's all over. I've already got the card deck. Why do I need to do anything here? I should just call it a month off and enjoy my winnings. But no, we're here for more. Hearthstone play. So, let's tell you the deck I'm going to be rolling with. I'm going to be on a Shaman this time. Ignore the name. I got really bored. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so basically, um, we've got, it's a bit of a control deck, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So, we have a couple of Earth Shocks, two Lightning Bolts. Two Rock Biter Weapons, a Storm Forged Axe, Aesthetic Swampoos, two Feral Dragons, two Flame Tongue Totems, two Feral Spirits, two Hexes, two Lightning Storms, a Manatide Totem, two Unbound uh, Elementals, one Defender of Argus, two Azure Drakes, a Golden Gadgetzan Auctioneer, a Boulder Fist Ogre, two Fire Elementals, a Stormwind Champion, and Yesera. Gave it a, a little bit of a run in my. Uh, we're doing the casual games, I guess it was. And, um, you know, it performed well. It performed well. So, we'll see how we go in ranked. I'm apparently one win away from rank 18. That's pretty good. Hopefully, with just a little bit of luck, we can get some wins on the board and climb the ladder a little bit. I'd prefer to go up to rank 18 than down to 20 in my first outing for the month, but... It is a new deck. I'm not going to be used to this like the Warrior one. The Warrior one was a, a lot of weapons. Control with the weapons as well as the Whirlwinds and uh, the Inner Rage and Taskmasters, if you will. But, uh... It's definitely going to be a different... Different run. Let's hope if we're going to get lucky. I should totally use my new card back in as well. Let's just toss the hand. Need something that's low costing creatures. Fairy dragon, there we go. I should actually use the uh the new backing. I don't know why I didn't do it. Doesn't matter. Maybe he'll think that I'm an absolute scrub. The boar, fair enough. Uh let's get the fairy dragon out there. Can't get targeted by spells and I can Feral Spirit next turn. Now here's another thing that I'm going to have to be um, thoughtful of. Overload. Overload is where it's going to get real. That's fine. You still sacks the... The boar. Job done. So, double Feral Spirit, which I can then put in a Flame Tongue between the two. But I need to kill that uh, Timberwolf. That will be a threat. Especially if he ends up doing something like Unleash the Hounds. Can get real nasty real fast. So. Let's toss you at him. And I think we've got a totem actually. Maybe a healing one can pop up. It can. It's probably the better option there. And now I can use the flame tongue next. And also I don't have overload anymore. Starving buzzard, going for card draw. Unleash the hounds. Probably, well you won't have to be able to play another timber wolf, but you will sack three hounds into my frail spirit. No, you are going to timber wolf and you're going to clean up shop. There it is. I have Lightning Storm, which is great. I might have to use that Lightning Storm at this point. Bit of a waste, but... 
Not much I can do at this point. Let's get the totem. Might get a stone claw if we're lucky. A healing. That's all right. Lightning storm that. So both the timber wolves are gone. Buffs for their beasts are out of the equation. And I have another feral spirit. Leoc. Best result out of that, I think. Let's get in more feral spirit. So let's bring in a feral spirit. And I think I might lightning bolt that hyena just because he's gonna be an absolute pain to bum. Because he could unleash the hounds, throw them at my taunts and kill them and then next thing you know that uh, laughing hyena is really really laughing. Nah, I'm glad I called that. Buffing up. He's really determined to unleash the hounds here. Alright, what I need now is a miracle. I need my lightning storm. That's going to be the important thing here. Can't play anything either, which is really unfortunate. If we get a stone claw, that'd be nice. No. Well, I think I'm gonna have to absorb some damage here. Crocolisk. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> Desperately need that uh, lightning storm now. Lightning storm will save me. That's not going to save me. Well, we're gonna have to go for card draw at this point. A uh, shock. All right, we can work with that. So, what we'll do is a uh, shock the hound. Yeah, so I'm not a card. And I'm gonna have to... No, do I punch him? Because that's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to die regardless. So that's GG. You win this well, gee, I don't like him. <laughs> you gloating hunter. Oh no. I want to go up, not down. Alright, let's try again. Not the best start to this uh, rank season. Almost said arena run. Not that I'm any better in arena. And I just like the first uh, season with the warrior. You know, it's pretty much trial and error with the deck. I need to uh, work out what the best combination of cards will be for the shaman. So, but I have a I have a goal to go for here. My goal is to best uh, the rank nine that I had. That'd be really nice. Uh, we'll keep you. Uh, do I keep the Hex? Yeah, I'll keep the Hex. It'll come in handy. I can open with the Fairy Dragon. Cards? I'm really waiting on this. Okay. Let's just wait. Any day. Well, you're there. Come on. Oh. Took you all that time just to replace your entire hand. Good job. Any day. You have one mana, you can't do that much. What 
to do. What to do. Oh well. Let's just... Let's just wait. We'll think about our lives for a little bit. Decide what we're gonna eat for dinner. Figure out what I'm gonna do for my day tomorrow. I'm gonna do some video work. But when I'm done with this video for tonight, I'm going to totally watch the new episode of Arrow that I got because that show is amazing. But with my tomorrow, I think I might go for a walk. That'd be nice. Sleep in a little bit, of course, because it's going to be my day off. Oh, it's my turn. Sweet. Well, let's get the fairy dragon out. You're there, so why? I don't know. Also, that should be a fast turn. Why is it not doing the fast turn? Oh, you ended your turn at the end of the... T uh. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the latest craze in Hearthstone players. It's called time wasting. What they do is they chew up the entire time limit of their turn to the point where they play their turn at the near the end, like the rope is burning down. They'll play their cards then and then end it. Then the player, in this case myself, will play their cards in three seconds, strats going up, crazy, hitting them, blah blah blah, I end my turn. Then the enemy player decides, you know what, I'm gonna wait a little longer. We'll wait till the rope appears, we'll think about our lives and our family, should we have one. And then they play their turn and hit the end button. And they're gonna do this for the entire match, and you wanna know why? Because they think that I'm going to get restless and just concede so I can go play a different match. How wrong they are. I am happy to wait. It's going to make this video a pain in the ass, but, you know. Another thing that I really don't like that Blizzard did, and it's for, re it's for players such as this. The last player I played was Test Park. <laughs> Funny name. But it used to have their hashtag number on there. I would so wish they kept that because players like this deserve to be abused. And so I could load up their name with their little hashtag thing and go, everyone, pile on to this person and say how much of a dick they are. But that is not the case, unfortunately. Well, while we have the time here, I thought I might talk about what I've got up and coming, I guess. Let's load up my, my schedule and we can discuss the videos that I have coming my way. So, obviously, I'm going to be doing Hearthstone Seasons, uh, Hearthstone Season videos. Oh, he's, uh, he's made a, he's made a play, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. How do we proceed with this? Hmm, I... Well, hmm, do I just kill him? Let's just punch you in the face. I want to use this Earthshock. I really want to use this Earthshock. But at the same time, I need a Wrath of Air, because then it does two damage and that'd be great. But, can't win them all. I could just get dogs out. The dogs might be an option. Let's earth shock it. And we'll rock by the weapon, my friend. So we can eliminate that. Death rattle doesn't happen. Okay. It's probably going to take ages, so let's keep going on with the videos coming up. So, Half Stone Season videos are going to be once a week, every Friday, Australian time zone wise. Um, I've also got Assassin's Creed 4 videos, which I have started now. They're coming out, along with Dead Space 3 videos. Got a lot more TF2 coming out now. So we have like the short videos. I tend to do two a week. But I've also got the MBM. I've also got the Twitch stream. And I've also got a new type of TF2 uh, video. 
it's coming out soon, so I will keep you updated with that. Looks like this guy's getting a little faster, which is good. I could Mammotide. I think Mammotide might be the way to go here. So let's do that. I'm gonna get a card out of this, which is nice. Lightning Bolt, even better. You got a Frost Bolt. Nope, Mana Worm. Then a Frost Bolt. There it is. It's like you're predictable. Now, I could unbound Elemental into a Lightning Bolt. Which I might do. And now the Unbound Elemental can continue to grow, hopefully. See what happens, could get Polymorph for all I know. But um, yeah, I mean I've got Overload in my hand, so... Feral Spirits to protect him, Lightning Storm to clear their board, be pretty good. And also the Flame Tongue if I want to really just buff up something. I wonder. Provided this mage actually does their turn, then I can be starting something. Oh, throwing everything at him. Alright. Well, I have a Feral Spirits. Oh, yes, Sarah. Let's get the Feral Spirits out in here. And we'll get a normal totem. Could try our luck and maybe get a healing. There it is. So, you probably have a second Frost Bolt and you can do your thing and clear it. Or you could throw a flame strike, I mean, it's entirely up to you. Okay, missiles. A little RNG. That's probably the best result for me, honestly. He killed the one thing I'm happy to sacrifice there. We'll try not to have ourselves overloaded by the time turn 9 comes around, so we can play Ysera. Double Arcane Intellect. Also, notice that these players have a lot of gold cards. It's crazy. Fairy Dragon and a Totem. And Punch. Oh, not a Taunt. Even better. I can put the Flame Tongue uh, next to the Stone Claw so he does some damage. That'd be pretty cool. You don't like those fairy dragons, do you, mage? Well, that's because they hate you. What to do? What to do? You'll play a card one day. It's fine. I've got nothing better to do with mine, right? honestly. I'm just gonna... Relax after this and watch some television. Is your drag? Your image. Well, if I get a Wrath of Air, that'd be fun, actually. Um, or we could hex. I think we should hex. But, I wonder. let's I get ourselves a, uh, there we go, oh, double lightning storm for next turn. Ah, mwah. So good. Let's just kill those things off, like such. You probably flame strike, which is fine. I have Yesera that come into play next. I mean, Flame Strike would be the best option if we. Your know, Froggy, he can't do anything. Why are you looking at him? He just goes a ribbit. Fireball, okay. I was more expecting the Flame Strike than anything, but. Whatever makes you happy. I think I might as well just go all out with your Sarah. No 
Here is your Drake. Maybe I hold off. Ah, my own is your Drake, and then I can Lightning Storm, but I will overload next turn. Hum de la hum. But. It's about controlling the board. So. I mean, I have board control, so you Sarah can come out whenever. Like a flame tongue. Ah. Flame tongue would be delicious. Put it between a stone claw and the Azure Drake. Keep that Defender of Argus just in case. What to do? What to do? Any day. Fireball? Mm, fireball. You have a lot of golden cards, like holy shit. Killing the puppy. Yeah you are. It's fine by me. We flame tongue now. Let's get ourselves a totem. Syrian, that's pretty good. We'll punch you for five. And we'll end that. Now I can use Sarah next turn now, which is good. And for the love of God, don't give me a laughing sister. It's the worst card you can give out. I mean, it's decent. It's a better fairy dragon, but... I've got two fairy dragons. I don't need another one. Give me an Emerald Drake, please, Ysera. I beg of you. Emerald Drake. Or Ysera's Awakening. That's also good. I'm happy with that. Just not laughing sister. Nightmare! I'll take Nightmare. I'll put it on my Seer and Totem and punch it. But not laughing sister. Sorry, I hate I hate laughing sister. It's a dreadful card to get from your Sarah. It's like get it's like getting Leok out of Animal Companion. Leok is good in theory, but he's not a charge with four damage, nor is he a four four taunt. He's a two four. That will buff other creatures if you have them on the board, which a lot of the time you don't because you're playing Animal Companion on turn three just to put a creature on the board. That's just me. Okay. You're going all out with the fireballs. Let's see. Well, it's a good thing I have a lightning storm here. I think I'm going to have to play the unbound. You seem important. Uh, now, if we lightning storm, we do at least two damage there before the fairy dragon can finish you off. So, boom. Zap it. Zap it, like no tomorrow. Come on, and kill him. We don't serve your kind here. And we get ourselves a totem. I'm gonna be overloaded again, but I have a Stormwind Champion. You probably have a Polymorph. Actually, no, you have a Fireball. Who am I, what am I talking about? But if you kill the Elemental, my Stone Claw will attack. With his furious stone claw thing, what? It looks weird. I never played a shaman in WoW, so I don't really know how they operate. I played with shamans in my uh, party and raid and whatnot. Oop, he's not. Five damage. That's gonna kill me. I have a lightning bolt. I could play that actually, so let's do it. Let's hit you, hit you, and we go zap. Now you're in trouble. I still haven't played your Sarah, what is this? <laughs> it's crazy. Also, holy crap, this match has gone on forever. I don't even know if I'll be able to squeeze in one more game because of this. This, what's your name? Znub. I'm just gonna call you Scrub. This nub. There we go. You're a nub. What to do? He's just gonna wait out the clock now or something. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Did you just play him off my flame tongue? Nope. Okay. The sheep is powerful. Ah, oh, sheep is gone. One elemental. If I get a lightning bolt, that'd be great, or a rock biter, or another flame tongue. GG. Bested by two. Do I have enough time for one more? You know what? Uh, I want to, but no, I don't have time for another one, unfortunately. But I can open a pack. Let's open a pack. Packs are fun. Maybe we'll get something nice in here. But I do appreciate everyone watching the video. I am going to be doing one a week, as I said. Not a mana tide. Do I? Oops. Let's go back. So, um, yeah, definitely tune in next Friday. I am going to be doing more of this. And hopefully we can climb this ladder even more, which would be nice. The goal is to beat rank 9. So, I'm confident with this deck. I'm going to make some changes, I think, uh, in the deck listing already. I can see that maybe I only need one Unbound Elemental and one Fairy Dragon. And I had never really got to test these guys out yet, so we'll hopefully we'll be able to use them in the future. Same with your Sarah. See how effective they are. But yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.